Hey, so it's late at night and I'm a little tired tonight so this video isn't going to be long at all. Um, I had some good meals today and as you see, um, I didn't have to be in the kitchen at all today really when I got ready to eat because I had everything because I had everything already prepped. That's one good thing about having a meal prep. You don't have to cook every day and when you get ready to eat. You have something that's readily available and you'll have something that's within your calorie uh, range because you know what your calorie range is of the foods that you have cooked. You'll also know your net carb range and you know your protein range. So if you have a meal prep done, it will make things a lot easier. So I didn't have to do anything today as far as our meals are just simply fixed our foods um you know and plated our foods and then we just enjoyed our meals uh today i think eight around 12 o'clock um and then after that went out uh, for my walk when i ate at 12 o'clock um it wasn't a big meal it was basically like i said it was so i started my morning off with some, some broth i made some broth yesterday uh, to have available because i ran out i finished all my other broth off um as you can see this is what i had and i've just poured a little bit in the jar here and i'm going to add in some other ingredients some cayenne pepper some ginger some um, organic turmeric i'm going to add in a pinch of himalayan pink salt and i've already added in some goodies while i was making the broth but i'd like to add in these extra things because these things are good for you and they each have their own different health benefits i like to add in the cayenne pepper it gives the uh, broth a little kick a little boost and if you have a cough it will help you clear your throat your throat really really good um by adding cayenne pepper into your uh, broth and i'm going to stir this a little bit um before i put it in the microwave and i put it in the microwave and i usually um, microwave it for about two minutes and you can see the good fats and everything in there so this is um finished heating in the microwave after two minutes and i'm just gonna stir it up and i'm gonna sip on broth uh, this is my husband's plate he has his barbecue ribs um, he has some bread and also he has some of the bell pepper nachos we have the same thing that we're eating I have my ribs I have my spinach I have a slice of the keto white bread and also I have a few of the bell pepper nachos with some uh, sour cream and some jalapeno nachos A little nippy out here today. But I'm bundled up. Getting my walk in. Make sure you're bundled up if you're out walking. And this is the food, some of the food that I had left over from my lunch today. So I just added in some more greens because I had a rib left and I added in some of the bell pepper nachos with some sour cream and some jalapeno peppers, a little bit more greens. And that made my dinner.
So I'm going to tell you about the ice cream that I ate real quick tonight. Um, this ice cream is by Simple Truth. I want to make sure that you see it. And it's a keto French ice cream. And I just thought I'd try it since I bought it uh, during my grocery uh, shopping haul. And it was a butter pecan. This whole pint, you guys, was only 9 gram net carbs per pint. So that was why I bought it. I bought it with the intention of eating the whole pint when I bought it. So I did eat it tonight. And through the course of the evening, I did finish off this whole pint. So this whole pint only has 9, like I said, 9 net gram carbs. The total fat um, per container. 62 grams and let's see total protein per container is 13 grams and dietary dietary fiber 4 grams sugar alcohol 6 grams total carb 13 grams anyhow this is french ice cream and it is made with real cream and no added sugar it's very creamy it was delicious ice cream and it actually tasted close to the uh, regular um, butter pecan ice cream that I'm used to eating. So normally I like to make my um, ice cream because that way you know what you're putting in it. And I have a video. I'm going to attach it somewhere to this video. Um, but it's easy to make the keto ice cream. Very, very simple. And you can make all type of flavors. I've made chocolate, butter pecan, strawberry. So you can make all type of flavors with the uh, keto ice cream. But this is a good keto ice cream to buy. I did want to say that. And it's simple truth. Keto French ice cream, butter pecan. So anyhow, this is the ice cream that I tried and I did enjoy it and it was good. However, looking at it, I do see some things in here that I might should have questioned a little bit. But like we always say when we want to eat something, it's not enough in here to hurt me. Okay, I'm going to say that tonight. But anyway, this is the ice cream that I had. And this is the Keto French Ice Cream, like I said, by Simple Truth. And it is an ice cream that I would recommend. If you okay, you guys, here's the ice cream. It was so creamy and delicious. To my ice cream, I added two strawberries that I cut up. And also, I added in some of the Walden Farms sugar-free syrup. So this is my carb review and as you can see on my carb review I had in 23 grams of 20 gram net carbs so I went a little bit over not much today. For my breakfast I had 7 grams of uh, net carbs 838 calories. For dinner I had 16 gram carbs and 1248 calories. For the day total I had 23 gram net carbs 2086 calories. And I burned 1175 of those calories. Um, broth, I had about 8 o'clock this morning. Breakfast, I had at 12 o'clock p.m. And dinner, I had about 4 o'clock p.m. Um, I had my keto ice cream around 6 or 6.30. And I started fasting at 6.30 p.m. today. Thank you.